Hey, some no hop, some no faller, faller. Hi guys, today I will show you how Norwegians prepare for Christmas. And I'm so sorry. It's going to be frugal. What? It's going to be minimalistic. As always. And it's going probably to be a li little bit boring and you guys will not be satisfied at all. But for us Norwegian, this is how we get into the right Christmas spirit and the right Christmas mood. And I will show you some essential decoration, food and drinks. Are you ready? No. And guys, remember, if you have some spare time or bored, we have a lot of content to, for you to enjoy. So subscribe and follow all the strange and funny stuff from Norway. The first things you have to do to get into the Christmas mood is decoration. And it's very easy. It's only two things and it's all about light. This is a paper white Christmas star and this is really a Norwegian Christmas tradition. Cheap. But, yeah, but so essential for Norwegians. Without this, uh, it's not a Christmas in Norway. And what you do, you hang it in your window. <laughs> Actually, it's supposed to have light in it, as you can see in the pictures here. That's too much. It, almost. And there it hangs for, I think this year, for more than two months because we need uh, light and we need uh, hope. <laughs> and uh, uh, a star is not enough. Uh, we have to have some something more. Don't go overboard here. Uh, and I'm sorry, I have to because then- Do you have one thing now? Yeah, the next essential thing is, uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce this. This is a, this is actually too glamorous and it shouldn't be gold, it should be red. <laughs> this is what we had and, and it should be a pyramid. And this is also something you place in your window. So uh, star and uh, this lighting here in the window, then all Norwegian, when we see that, or we go, Merry Christmas, because this is really... But then it's enough. No, it's like it's yeah, you Disneyland. Should, yeah, almost. So you shouldn't have more than this. But these two things, it's very minimalistic. It's like mat pakke. Everything in Norway is like mat pakke. Okay, now we're going to some exotic, really exotic food. <laughs> what? Yes, we are international and we are... Uh, so maybe this is the most... Um, how can I say? This is the most... Uh, uh, splashing thing that we have in our Christmas preparation and you need to have it because if you don't have it on your uh, table you will not have that Christmas spirit and mood inside and the, the stuff is uh, clementines look clementines these are from Spain there's not a Norwegian Christmas without clementines so you need that in your house, my on, on your ta table. Clementine. Yes, my darling Clementine. It's so exotic, it's so colorful, and it's very Christmas for us. We never eat this except when it's Christmas. I thought they were Norwegian. We have celebrated Cle all the time. <laughs> you, you think this grow grow here in Norway? When I was a child, uh, I yeah, was yeah, on yeah. No, table. no, you are you are out there. You are totally far off. Of course, this is not from Norway. For not long ago, during World War Two, this was like the best Christmas present you can get: <laughs> an orange or a banana. <laughs> actually, yeah, you should be happy. Yeah. The next one. Can you hear it? Oh, oh cereal, it? cereal, 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 it could have been actually, but it's not, it's gingerbread, and gingerbread, let me see, oh, you, yeah. you've been baking, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and this is my grandmother's box, <laughs> no, gingerbread, oh, the smell of ginger, this is like, if you don't have gingerbread in your house, you don't have Christmas, 
and my god we eat a lot of this uh, gingerbread during i mean i think a fam uh, each a family with kids they buy one of these for uh, for a day and if you're working in a company it will always be in the reception area yeah, even and it's always empty about lunch yeah no even at the doctor's office or at the dentist even because when they want to just uh, pinpoint that it's christmas they will place a bucket like this with gingerbread and maybe one clementine yeah okay show us how norwegians eat this because i think they eat a lot uh, we we are not used to this exotic food so much so when we eat it it's like come on have some more Mm. 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 And, and then you can sing mm. a song. And when Christmas is over, you hate gingerbread. You cannot have it until next Christmas. Even I, I see that this is a bit too fr frugal. <laughs> it has small clementine and some uh, gingerbread, dry gingerbread. And now we are going over to the most luxurious Christmas food you can have in these pre-Christmas times and I'm sure all of you will have watery mouths and you will think oh now the real big things come this is one fat pig his slimmer sister and this is really <laughs> this is the most uh, ex no not exotic luxurious food item you have before Christmas in Norway it's marzipan now, marzipan is really a, a strong uh, pre-Christmas tradition in Norway. And, and you have, but this is not like the uh, gingerbread. You cannot eat and eat and eat of this. It's too expensive. It it's, would be sinful of you. So this, you like, mm, you take one piece one day and then you leave it. And you have another piece of um, chocolate marzipan or ordinary marzipan like this. Just one. Uh, of course. Not two, are you crazy? You can have them like 24 uh, days until Christmas Eve. Uh, guys, how do you prepare for Christmas? What are those essential decorations, food and drink items that you have to have in your house to have the Christmas spirit and mood? We would love to learn. Yeah, actually now, because I feel a bit Christmassy in this uh, extremely uh, tacky Christmas studio. Yeah, you yeah, know, I'm, I'm, I'm like in the Christmas mood, so I want to know. So uh, share with us, subscribe, push the bell and share with us. We love those stories. And of course, you will get thirsty, so you need something to drink. That's the most important. And what I will show you now is if there is uh, not uh, this drink uh, thing on the table, Norwegians with, where is it? Do you have it? Can I have it? Why? Why don't you have it in your refrigerator? It's very essential. And this is called Julebrus in Norwegian. Uh, Christmas soda, I think, if that's brusmats, is it brus yeah, soda? Christmas soda. See, Christmas soda, and you will have... It, it, it tastes very synth synthetic. Uh, yes, of course. But as you can see here, it's very red. It needs to be red. It needs to have that uh, very uh, beautiful red Christmas color, and you can see the you, you, uh, decoration. You, you pay for the color. <laughs> you do. So, if if this is not in your house during pre-Christmas time, you can go home. Uh, yes, you can. And if you are a foreigner coming to Norway and you are wondering why doesn't Norwegian come and visit me during uh, pre-Christmas time, it's because you don't have Yule Bruce in your refrigerator. You can have both. I mm. hate Christmas. <laughs> it's really a shitty taste. <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> we need something more stronger. So, 
And this is really, really a strong Norwegian tradition. It looks like the julebrus, but it's not. This is called juleglug or glug. Glug. I think in English it's molded wine. Molded wine. I'm oh, not sure. I yeah. hate no, it. but this is like this is a really a, 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 a good tradition. Spices. I think that this must be the only time of the year that Norwegian actually have spices in their food or their drinks because that's really nothing that we do except for Christmas. And then you pour it up in one of these and you uh, and put it on a stove. We don't have a stove now and we don't have to have time. And when you finish with that, you take a, a, a Norwegian uh, or your way to Norway cup like this, here Texas, totally Texas, and you uh, pour your warm glug into the cup. And now doo -doo -doo -doo, you can add some, uh, this says vanlig vodka, ordinary vodka extra. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you, a yeah, more. a little bit more. Uh, uh, are you sure? Yeah, uh, come on. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no, okay, uh, wow. okay, 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 yeah. Let me show no, yeah, yeah, it's full now. You can have it. Okay, Mats, you will have the first sip. No, 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 no. I prefer this no. one. No, 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 no. Why, why, why do I have to add that? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, glug. No, Mats, it's Christmas. Please, please, please. Ugh. Yeah, you really love it. <laughs> it's lovely. And this is how we celebrate. And then it's Christmas. It's Christmas. So, Mats, uh, should we sing for you guys? One, two, three. We sing in God if fell on and pass the shy for them. Okay, uh, but this is not all we do to prepare us for Christmas. And uh, if you want to see some shocking Norwegian preparation, hedonistic, almost a uh, pre-Christian uh, Viking celebration of the joyful Christmas period? Well, check out this video. It's almost too much. That's not very frugal. No, and it's really, you, this is, uh, you haven't seen Norwegians act like this, but this is also a strong tradition when it comes to pre-Christmas uh, preparations. It's old, it's one of our first. It's one of our first videos, but it's really still strong. And this is how we prepare for Christmas, the real stuff.